Good afternoon, I'm Sarah Haynes, and here are the top five stories buzzing online right now. Coming in at number five, start packing your bags. We're all heading back to camp with Netflix announcing its star-studded cast for the Wet Hot American Summer prequel series. Now, these are some of my favorites. Paul Rudd, Amy Poehler, Elizabeth Banks, and Bradley Cooper are leading the all-star lineup titled First Day of Camp, and we cannot wait to see what they get up to as they resume their roles from the Colt 2001 movie. Now, there's no release date yet, but filming has already begun, and no doubt there's plenty of fun in store for us as the counselors at Camp Firewood. Coming in at number four, newlyweds Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden were the cutest couple at Tuesday's Lakers game in LA. The stars were sitting courtside when they appeared on the stadium kiss cam and totally delivered with a passionate embrace that got the crowd cheering. Benji and Cameron had just returned from their honeymoon at a luxury resort in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Gotta love newlyweds. At number three, it's nice to hear that even Oscar nominees get starstruck. Eddie Redmayne has revealed that he is, quote, like a kid in a candy store meeting all his favorite actors. Case in point, the time he and his wife met Jennifer Aniston. Nice. And we, we were just incredibly inappropriate. And, and, and we were so sort of wanted to meet her that we just sort of literally stalked about four meters behind her for an entire evening. And... Turns out the stalking was worth it. Redmayne telling Jimmy Kimmel that Aniston eventually turned around and said hello. The star describing her as just as beautiful and wonderful as you'd expect. And I'd say it won't be long before Eddie has celebrities chasing after him at parties. Coming in at number two, Kim Kardashian has revealed she and Kanye are ready for baby number two. The reality star telling People magazine they've, quote, really been trying and more kids can't come soon enough. In the meantime, it sounds like daughter Nori is keeping them occupied. Kim says North is really smart and a little bit cheeky, revealing the toddler recently took Kanye's phone and flushed it down the toilet. I would say get some rice, but the flush takes it to a whole new disgusting level. And at number one, a cat that most definitely needs to be signed up for the kitten bowl or your fantasy league, your call. You see him waiting patiently in the snow and rawr, then he goes for it. Look at that height, the agility, the precision. With paws dramatically outstretched, he nails it. A Super Bowl worthy performance if I've ever seen one. Be sure to tune in to GMA for more pop news tomorrow. For ABC News, I'm Sarah Haynes in New York. Have a great day.